Well, it's only fitting on Golden Age Day that we would have uh, Danny Thatchek and Bill Ryder from the Bondola Show out here. He is, he's not well. Bill has mononucleosis. Um, he contracted it during a, a kissing tour of northern Saskatchewan. <laughs> and he, he hasn't been at all well. In fact, uh, there's a danger that it may complicate into stereonucleosis if we're not careful. And blow us out all over the place. Yeah, well, he's not trying to get any better. I mean, he threw up on the salt and pepper shaker a few minutes ago. <laughs> We've been touring the PNE together. Obviously, material for the show. Yeah, trying to find material for the show. As you know, we're going on television pretty soon with Bundolo after eight years of radio. And Do you want to thumb your nose at the people who canceled the radio show or anything like that? No, not at all. If it weren't for them, we'd probably be on radio for another 12 years. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. You're not going to leave me over there, are you? I was trying for the to. Whole interview? Uh, for seven minutes, I was going to ignore Thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> Bill Ryder, uh, Danny Thatchuk, in case we didn't go through the introductions, they'll just keep talking. I'll just <laughs> talk to the folks at home here. Nice man. We're going to meet later. <laughs> are you really? Near the Orange Julius. <laughs> Obviously, you weren't sick enough. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bill how Ryder. I, how do you think I got this? Seriously, thing? Bill Ryder is really just back uh, after about a mononucleosis. How long did it put you down for? What time is it now? <laughs> Are you kidding? I'm not well. <laughs> Knowing you, it was a short kiss anyway, right? <laughs> I, I don't know why. We brought those camels home, and <laughs> all of a sudden. Do you realize that everybody knows your face from Toyota, and I can't think of all the sponsors' name, but nobody knows your name. Oh, come on. <laughs> really? Isn't that true, though? You know what I was thinking? Yeah. Phil Reimer and Bill Ryder? Holy mackerel. What a team. I think so. Want to stick around and do the weather tonight? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're completely ignoring him now. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me a little bit about Bandola. It, you went on television well, several years ago, didn't you? Seriously, you know, I have been sick, really. Yes, and and uh, I'm not really back 100%, so consequently, I haven't been down to the station. These guys could be doing something I don't even know about, right? Are you still? Do you still include them in the script, or have you cut them out yet? <laughs> Who? Writer? Yeah. No, heck the no. The kissing bandit over here. <laughs> no, we just don't want him down there. He's liable to spread the disease through the studio. I understand that uh, this... We, we did go to television. You were saying you went to television. Yeah, we did go. Yeah. We uh, did two half-hour shows uh, for a series, a six-show series called... To be announced, it was called. Well, to be announced, it was called. Uh, yeah, I was going to get to that. TBA, I, that's a big show. I saw you on the schedule at least eight times this summer. <laughs> that's right, yeah. No, actually, we did the shows, and uh, we didn't really have that much creative control. You know, Danny was uh, out of town at the time, and uh, I didn't care. <laughs> oh, there's a story behind that. That's why he's laughing. But uh, um, I when it finally came to television, I'll just jump in here. Yeah, any time. You know how rude I am. Take over. Here, listen, if I could give you the mic, I would. <laughs> uh, when it got to television... Uh, uh, they announced it as TBA. I mean, they didn't even put the name of the show down, right? So maybe they, they, know, maybe they know I'm from the East End. They saw the rehearsal. <laughs> maybe they did. Yeah. Don Williams is standing over there in the crowd. I understand he does serious stuff like Beachcombers and Ritters and the Royal Winnipeg Ballet. I've, I understand he's going to direct your show. I've worked with him. <sighs> that bad, huh? Oh, well, well. <laughs> he's so big, though, you know. I, I know. usually, he's tough. you know. Winnipeg we, boy, too, you know. Oh, uh, North End? North End Winnipeg North End boy. of Winnipeg. Yeah. Oh, that's... Williams, the Scottish section. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's even heavier than the East End. I better be careful. No, I usually intimidate everybody, you know, with my size. But look at this guy. I mean, if you can't get a camera on him, right, because you have to pay him money. But Do you the mind guy if, is six foot five. Do you mind if I go back to Danny for go a second? Ahead. You got all of, <laughs> You do have creative control over the show, which you didn't have the last time. You had. Did you have total creative control of radio? Obviously, you did. Yeah. Uh, everybody left us alone. Radio is so low profile that um, nobody listens, so you can do anything you want. And I, I must say that the Bandolo TV show will be aired at 11.45 on Sunday nights to make sure that there are no United Empire loyalists watching, if you know what I mean. <laughs> How do you get along? I mean, you've got uh, Groman's back, obviously, Bill Ryder, Danny, and uh, Jackson Davies coming on the show as well? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, go ahead, Bill. <clears throat> Jackson Davies coming on the show as well. <laughs> no, no, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you wanted more. Oh, well. You know what I feel like? A middleman <laughs> at a flea circus. Actually, <laughs> Jackson Davies and what does that mean? Jackson Davies and David King, who is uh, a very talented writer, and Danny's the head writer, so we, uh, it's going to be great. Danny, one final question. I, uh, do we have to wrap this up? We have to go? We could stay here for the whole hour, you know. One minute. Okay. 
how do you, how do you get so many creative people? And you really do have a lot of creative people. And I'm I'm just being serious for a second. How do, how do you get along? There's got to be a lot of fights, arguments, disagreements uh, on a, a set like Bondola. No, we just uh, you know we just uh, spread diseases like Bill's mononucleosis. You know, and uh, <laughs> that I settles mean, everybody down. No, we have to we have to do it slowly. You know, we can't get on each other's nerves too quickly. So we just lay people low by. It's spreading bacterial cultures around. <laughs> I understand, too, that Alan Waters, the president of Chum Broadcasting in Toronto, made you an offer as uh, their janitor back there, and you turned, it, you turned them down. Well, you just blew my bit by saying, <laughs> as, Sorry. as the janitor. Well, uh, we... No, you did. In all seriousness, yeah. uh, Toronto wanted you. You've decided to stay out here. And let's face it, you could make a lot more money in Toronto doing commercials and all of that what? than you could here. What do you so mean? why didn't you go? Well, how much more money? Probably another hundred, hundred fifty thousand bucks a year. <laughs> <laughs> I knew this would happen. Danny, thanks for coming by. I really do hope Bundola is. I think even in this crowd, you've got a lot of Bundola fans, and I really hope it's a huge success for you. Thanks very much, Phil. Okay. Nice Danny Thanchuk and Bill Ryder, who's on his way to Toronto, but will fly back for the show each week. That's it for now. Let's go over to Dan McAfee with some little friends.